Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce the first ever made Model 3, Tesla Model 3, with a completely new body. It is a real Tesla in a new super light body. Once again, this is not a modified car from the past years built on electrical components. And this is not a modified car on Tesla components neither. So here we used 99% of Tesla car technology. The best technology ever used by mankind to build a car. Tesla is no doubt the most efficient and optimized car in the world. Therefore, using the Tesla platform, we will immediately discard all questions regarding dynamics, range and innovation. With this body form factor, no other electric vehicle will have a bigger range. Actually, we don't have electric vehicle with this form factor, but anyway. And you already know everything about Tesla acceleration, autopilot and application. Yes, it's very long introduction, but I just want to you understand that you have no seen anything similar at any car show you visited before. I know this for sure because our cars take part in almost every car show. We made a review of one of our cars previously. You can watch the video, just tap right corner as well as previous video about the current Tesla Goldwing project. In case you are new on the channel and have no idea what I am talking about. Today I will talk about the latest changes made to this project. The most important part of the project took place marrying the body and chassis together. Now they will live happily ever after. Everything turned out wonderful. The body leads smoothly along the wheel axles. But as is always happens with unique projects, a big unexpected problem took place. And it took us almost two weeks to solve. The task was to transfer the charger unit. Tesla has it under back seat, but in our car this is the place where front seats are located. At first it seemed like a good idea to convert rear seats into front seats, but there were two issues. The first one, it was impossible to reach to the steering wheel, and the second one, my head was touching the car's roof. The roof is way lower than the standard Tesla's one, so therefore the charger unit is now placed behind the seatback. And now seats fit perfectly. By the way, both of the seats are original Tesla seats. They will move the same way with the help of the buttons as a factory seats on any Tesla Model 3. Only one thing. We cut them a little and made them shorter for the sake of the design. This is a new retro design. And the big Model 3 seats do not quite align with the main idea. But most important is that all the sensors are in the same place. And the car will definitely understand when you are in or out. And from this it will turn on or off without using any buttons. This is one of the Tesla's most convenient ideas that I believe will soon be used in every car. Coming next, the steering column and pedal assembly. Of course, they were moved forward. But the pedal assembly is slightly smaller because uh, we sit lower and our legs are stretched more forward. The steering column kept all its features. You can adjust steering wheel whichever way you want. And since you already noticed the screen, look how great it sits in this console and how the console fits perfectly into the concept of this car. Yes, the Model 3 console 
fits almost any car with a sport bias because there is nothing extra in it that will distract you from driving naturally we change the location the screen so it is more convenient to use given the lower fit and now the screen position is very similar to the position in plate x and s models that is all no more changes planned in this cabin everything we need on the screen and this is more than enough we do not even plan to install mirrors maybe in the future for the sake of design but in fact we don't really need them because we installed cameras and now when you change lane you can clearly see the entire left or right part you don't have to look in the mirror and even if you miss something the car will warn you and when we install the rest of the cameras the car will already be able to drive by itself in city or on highway that is another tesla smart function which will be present in all cars yes no doubt it will be nice to drive such a car on your own but we live in modern world and sometimes look at, at our smartphones so if it happens it is better to turn on the autopilot moving on since this is a tesla car which is famous for having a lot of free space we managed to create the most spacious interior of all sport coupes ever made but we are still thinking how to adjust the passenger seat so you can literally lie down it is hard to say what will be better to lie in this car or look at it from the side we have done a big job on fitting the widening to these amazing wheels both the widening and the wheels were provided by our partner in this project the s club company so be sure the style of this car will be just right you may already see how amazing the proportions come out and when you sit so low behind the steering wheel and so close to rear axle it is hard to describe your feelings but there is an exact understanding that this is high quality electric vehicle there are no weird palm noises no terrible sound of custom suspension or even worse a native suspension that was not designed for the new weight of the car as you can see using tesla platform you can make a classic car but it is impossible to convert classic car into a good everyday electric vehicle so see you next time subscribe bye